This video is sponsored by Ineo, who has hooked me up with Keyshot 9 to bring great tutorials to you. Hey, I'm Sam and I do design, and in the video today, I am showing you how to make these cushions in Blender and Keyshot. The first thing we're going to do in Blender is to delete the cube, and then we're going to add a plane, go into edit mode, and then we're going to subdivide it and add in 40 subdivisions, which sounds about right, and then press E on the keyboard to extrude it. And all we need to do is go over to add a cloth and add in the new feature, which is pressure. Pressure is the single tool that is going to let us turn this into a cushion. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit now. And uh, I need to go back and add in a plane to act as a ground that it's going to sit on. Change that to a collision type. And then I just need to press play. And you can see that the pressure is starting to add some air in. There's not quite enough air in yet, so we need to go back down into pressure, change that to about two, and then you can see it is looking pretty much like a cushion already. That is as easy as it is. What I need to do now is add in a subdivision surface modifier, which is going to make the cushion look more smooth. Make sure that Blender is shading as flat because that is the same way that Keyshot is going to use it. And then you can use that to change the level of the subdivision surface modifier to get the right level that you need without making a huge file. The only thing I did after that was export it as an object file, making sure that I had the UVs there and making sure that I applied the modifiers as well. And then I imported them into Keyshot. So I've already included the cushions now and I've just put them on a sofa that I found from Demon Siva and that's already textured. And I just want to show how easy it is to add a real cloth material. A lot of them come in Keyshot 9 already and I already love the effects so much. So Seriously, I just wanted to add in the real cloth standard material and with the included flyaway section as well It really adds so much realism and um, because we have just exported from blender using the UVs They're already mapped this tutorial is so easy I kind of feel a little bit rude to, to uh, make this tutorial because it's gonna be over so fast So with the real cloth already being done I want to move now on to the velvet material so I've changed the second cushion to be the velvet type and I've gone on to the uh, cloud library in Keyshot and I found a texture that I think is going to work well for the crushed velvet look. So you can go onto the cloud library and uh, find textures and I've chosen this cracked ice texture. What that goes into is the sheen and the sheen of the velvet is going to decide between what is shiny and what is not but you can see that it's actually really vivid when we don't want that effect at all i've hit c on the keyboard just to view that and i've gone in and added in a color to number node where i can just start to fade that away a little bit so we get more of a unified look and then the last thing to do is add in a color adjust and make the sheen color uh, the, the highlight color, which is the royal blue that I want to go for. That is literally the whole material graph. There's nothing else to it. So I can go back in and start to edit things to make it look like the way that I want it to. And also you can see the difference in the real cloth having for the flyaway fibers there. I want to start to add that into the velvet, not so that you can see the flyaway fibers, but just so that your brain recognizes the fact that it's got some extra detail in there. So what I'm going to do is bring in a fuzz node into the velvet material and I can start to tweak and change the parameters. You can see here that the lines are really quite strong and dark, uh, but I can go in and change those to make it look more realistic. The difference between flyaways on real cloth and fuzz on any other material is that the flyaways on real cloth will start to follow the weave of the cloth that's on there, whereas the fuzz will just do its own random thing if you increase the randomness and it doesn't follow the underlying material. So there it is, that is taking a plane in Blender all the way through to being a cushion in Keyshot within about five minutes. It's a really fast work through uh, and I'm really excited with all the new features that are coming out in Blender. I am by no means a Blender expert. Everything that I've learned 
is from Andrew Price at Blender Guru, who told everyone about the new pressure feature on Twitter. So if you want to know all the latest features in Blender, go and follow Blender Guru. And also a special thanks to Ineo for hooking me up with Keyshot so I can show you these great features as well. If you learn anything, let me know down in the comments below because I love reading about it. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.